Well, I'll show you what it does and then I'll, then I'll explain how it works if that's all right. So I just turn this handle and see what happens. I got some parts of the design off the, off the internet, um, but then I've modified a bit and I, uh, everything was um, hand drawn. I didn't have all the computer files for it, so I had to redraw all of that. Um, so I could then laser cut it. I used Ink Inkscape because it's a free open source program. Um, and then I used the Notting, Notting Hack laser cutter to uh, cut it. So every, everything has been laser cut. Um, all, of, all, of the, all the pipes, even the actual music that it's, it's playing has been uh, laser cut. I suppose I cheated or used my, my software skills for, to, to do that. I actually wrote a, a program that converts uh, MIDI files into SVGs. Then I can load the SVG into the laser cutter software and cut it out. So SVG is like a vector graphics That's file. That's right. The laser cutter is only 1.2 metres wide, so I can only cut 1.2 metre strips. So every so often, like, like there, I've got a, a join that I have to sell it together and then I have to actually use a, a scalpel to recut the holes where the join is. This took me about three months to make. <laughs> now, a lot of that I was actually do, do, uh, doing all the drawings for it and so preparing all the files to laser cut. And obviously a bit of the time was writing some software to uh, uh, make, make the rolls. Well, that's all written in, in C. Uh, but to do that I had to understand how MIDI files work, how the MIDI files are in encoded. That took a little bit of understanding, but I gained enough knowledge to be able to, to do that. So uh, MIDI files have a note on, note off, and a velocity. Um, velocity is like on a piano, how hard you press the key. Um, but on an organ you don't have velocity, so we can ignore that bit. So I just, in the MIDI file I had to find the note on, and then further down the files a note off, get those, match them up, and the note on, note off gives you the length of the actual note that's played. So it starts off in the bottom of the organ. In the bottom of the organ there's these bellows down here. So as I turn the handle, those bellows go up and down. They create uh, compressed air. The compressed air is then stored in this reservoir here. In fact, if I turn the handle again, you can see that, how that's building up. That builds up air pressure. Now you hear that tss, tss, tss. That's the, um, what's called a spill valve opening there. That, that peg pressures a valve inside the reservoir so the reservoir doesn't get overpressurized. And then at the top of the organ, if I engage the clutch, which is this mechanism here, when that's engaged, the handle also drives the paper along as well. How many songs you got? Oh, I've got about four rolls now of songs. So that's another roll. Um, this has got the, the birdie song and um, uh, the chicken dance and entry of the gladiators, which is sort of thing, thing you, when you think about clowns, that's, that's what's normally playing. In, in materials, about 60 pounds in materials, I, I guess. In time, say about, th about three months and obviously making more rolls is an ongoing project. Well, I've just done it for the fun of it. A GSM mobile phone. We've built an entire phone on our badge this year. Uh, we've deployed a, our own GSM network across the site. Six running at 100 megahertz with a real cut down Linux system that boots in seven seconds. Uh, and that's called the Hex Engine and that is the core of the controls.